All right, today we're going to take a look at some uh, two-post lift repair, some service questions I've had uh, from people lately uh, with some issues that I haven't looked at so far, or maybe not quite as in-depth. This is a two-post lift, and they're all kind of basically the same. The go button to make it go up is right there. The release lever to make it come down is right here. Now, if you push the go button and it's going up, but it just doesn't have the power to lift a heavier vehicle or it's going real slow, uh, one place to look at is this release valve right here, right underneath here. Now, what that release valve looks like is right here. Once you take the uh, nut off, pull the lever off, you're going to have this release valve right here. As you push this plunger in, it pushes this little taper and seat out, kind of like a, a piston valve. You push this in, that comes open, opens a port, and then the lift comes down. Well, what can happen is you can get a little piece of debris in there, um, and that would uh, allow it to start coming down immediately. Or if there's a malfunction uh, in the piston and seat right there. Uh, maybe from the factory they didn't make it just right and if that's a problem it'll be a problem right from day one. If uh, you use the lift for a while and it's having that problem then you probably just need to clean this. And what they suggest when you clean it is to just push the lever in and push the go button at the same time and let that run for 10 or 15 seconds and generally speaking that will clean the debris out that's stuck in between that little piston right there and then it will uh, function correctly. Uh, sometimes if that happens you might want to take your tank off, uh, clean it out so uh, that debris doesn't just keep floating around in there. Uh, now another issue might be uh, this check valve right here. And what happens there is you let off the lever and it's coming down really slow. Um, oh no, 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 no. It'll be coming down uh, slowly uh, as soon as you let off of uh, the go button, which is a little different than this, uh, but it's a check valve which allows the fluid to go one way but not back. And inside that, there's a little uh, ball bearing and a spring inside here. And what happens is a little piece of dirt get stuck in there that ball bearing won't seat and then the lift will come down. It'll come down a lot slower um, than what it would be if this was malfunctioning uh, but it would still come down. So first place to check is the release lever and the piston uh, assembly on that. The second place to check is the check valve. Make sure there's no dirt in that. Uh, like say it'll be a real small piece of dirt in there. Now what I typically do here is I'll push that ball down with a small Phillips screwdriver while I'm blowing air and carburetor cleaner through those holes to make sure it's seating correctly. Now some lifts you will find that this will just be a cap and the spring and the ball bearing will be inside there. So make sure when you take that out you've got a rag or something there to catch that in case it's the one that's in pieces instead of one that's uh, all together. Like I say, a little piece of debris in there will allow the lift to come down slowly. Um, if a piece of debris in, is in here, it'll come down a lot faster and won't go up as fast also. Now, another issue some people are having is if the lift does not come down at all or very slightly. Well, that problem will be here at the bottom of the lift. There's a stem that comes from here goes into the lift and that has a restrictor valve in there. The restrictor valve is right here and as you can see that's awful dang small and it fits inside this tube and is held in with this snap ring. So what happens is a little what happens is when you power it up fluid comes in goes this direction pushes this valve back goes into the cylinder, fills it up, and it's fine. Well, 
then when you want it to come down, you hit the release lever, but this the fluid pressure pushes this all the way in, and then it will seal it off if there's any kind of blockage in this little tiny hole right here. And believe me, that can be a very small piece of debris to get stuck in there, and then it will not come down on either side because of how the hoses are. It's just trapping the fluid in there and that sucker will not come down. So a place to check if it won't come down first is the non-power side in this stem and take this little piston out. Now some people just take that out and leave it out but it's in there for a reason because if you do have a problem with the lift, um, a busted hose or something like that, this will uh, restrict the flow so the lift doesn't come down as fast if you have any kind of malfunction. Uh, but if you've got a problem, you got a question, uh, we might have the answer and we might have the parts. So give us a call, check out our website. Uh, we have parts for all the lifts that we sell and some of them do interchange. So if you have a problem or question, give us a call. Thank you.